next generation is beaming aboard the airwaves. All the wonder, the excitement, the drama of Gene Roddenberry's original Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Enterprise. With all new adventures from the 24th century. With an all new Enterprise. This is nothing like any vessel I've seen before. And an all new crew. Starfleet veteran Captain Picard, Commander Riker, Executive Officer, Chief Medical Officer Crusher, and her brilliant son, Wesley, Lieutenant Commander Data, an android, the telepathic Troy, Security Officer Yar, Jordy, a man with unique vision, and Klingon Officer Worf. Shields and deflectors up, sir. Go to yellow alert. Their continuing mission to boldly go where no one has gone before. Let's see what's out there. Don't miss the all-new adventures of Star Trek The Next Generation. CIC Video, the best of the best in home entertainment, are proud to preview forthcoming releases from Paramount Pictures. As the chosen one, superstar Eddie Murphy is on a madcap mission to save the golden child, a young boy with mystical powers who's been captured by an evil cult led by villain Charles Dance. He's looking for a missing child, a golden child. This child is special, Mr. Jarrell. His destiny is to save the world. And it's your destiny to seek some serious psychiatric help. I could destroy you just like that. Just like that. Mwah, you're wonderful. Nobody be alarmed. I'm Madam Chandler Jarrell, American stolen artifact finders of America. He's irresponsible. A bed? Is that a bed? He's a careless, thoughtless, undisciplined fool. Eddie Murphy is the chosen one. Well, how many people have survived this test? None. None! The golden child. None! High society will never be the same now that Jake and Barney are taking a crash course in class and culture. The Whoopie Boys are out to seek their fortunes and now nothing can save the idle rich. Are you guests here? Two ordinary guys. Potential guests? Yes. Determined to join high society. I got an idea. Charm school. I'll go with you. The only reason I came here is because my mother's new boyfriend said I couldn't stay in her bedroom anymore. <laughs> Some people are born with class. You do fence with men, don't you? Why do you know any? But anybody can learn to fake it. Try not to scratch. The Whoopie Boys. The Japanese have taken over Hadleyville's defunct auto factory with the help of Hunt Stevenson. But he falls from hero to zero when he has to enforce the new owner's policies. For everyone concerned, it's gung-ho! Hunt Stevenson invited the Japanese. You know, my dad was over here with the army in, uh, I guess it was 1940. Hey, did you decorate this place yourself? To put his town back to work. Welcome to your first day with the San Motus. <laughs> now, everything is on his shoulders. This is great. What could possibly go wrong? Good question. Let's go find out. <laughs> That's all, folks. For John, a special tutor played by William Hurt, and Sarah, a headstrong deaf girl played by Marley Matlin, what starts as a challenge becomes a passionate love that shatters the barrier of silence between them in Children of a Lesser God. Sarah, you are the most mysterious, beautiful, angry, person I have ever met. Look, James, I've seen this kind of thing before. It just doesn't work. I love her. Don't be sad for you. <laughs> what began as a simple challenge. All right, I won't. Became a love story beyond words. Help me. Teach me. Love has a language all its own. Richard Pryor plays a convicted criminal who fakes insanity to avoid prison. The real craziness begins when he disguises himself as an emergency doctor and leaves everyone in a critical condition. 
Empire State Hospital, an institution devoted to saving lives. But tonight, a storm has isolated it, leaving it in the hands of one man. The ER doctor's gonna be here soon. Who can mean the difference between life and death. Dr. Slattery? Dr. Slattery? Yeah, doctor, what's your problem? He's got one night to learn to play doctor. I dropped the heart on the floor! Well, that's okay, we're working on the spine. For a lifetime in prison to think about it. Critical condition. St. John invited some friends to her parents' secluded island home for the weekend. When somebody starts trimming the guest list, what was a harmless April Fool's Day prank becomes a bloody battle for survival. Join eight privileged guests who are just dying <laughs> to have fun. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Something wrong? You're dead! April Fool's Day. Get ready to party till you drop. Under the command of Admiral James T. Kirk, the surviving crew of the USS Enterprise must face their greatest challenge and boldly go back in time. Destination, present-day San Francisco. They traveled where 23rd century man had never gone before. To a mad, crazy, outrageous time. Judging by the pollution content of the atmosphere, I believe we have arrived at the latter half of the 20th century. San Francisco. Our own world is waiting for us to save it. They have 24 hours. Everybody remember where we parked. Break up. To complete their mission. You look like a cadet review. Who are you? You can't. Our next stop is the 23rd century. The Voyage Home. Tom Cruise is Maverick, a daring pilot sent to Top Gun, the U.S. Navy's most prestigious fighter weapons school. Kelly McGillis is the civilian instructor who teaches him those things that can't be learned in the classroom. I'm going to send you up against the best. Yes, sir. You two characters are going to Top Gun. Five weeks, you're going to fly against the best fighter pilots in the world. You guys really are cowboys. I'm an instructor at this school. I see 20 new hot shots every eight weeks. I don't like you because you're unsafe. That's right. I am dangerous. I feel the need. The need for speed. Tom Cruise. Kelly McGillis. Top Gun. CIC Video, films from the studios of Paramount Pictures. The best of the best. <laughs>